Hi guys, welcome to Testnet, another podcast. Today we have Praveen Buran from uh, Maharashtra, and he got selected for public health in social epidemiology, and he joined us for the live class. And finally, he he is in this Mumbai campus. So those who are targeting for the public health, this podcast can help you throughout your journey. So very first, uh, Praveen, welcome to the podcast, and congratulations for your selection. Yes. Hello. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, Pravin. So let's start with the uh, basic uh, uh, understanding about yourself and how this uh, this idea came into the picture and why this. So about yourself, your academic background and yeah. Yes, sir. Uh, sir, basically, I did my graduation in BAMS, Bachelor of Ayurvedic Medicine Surgery from R.A. Poddar Medical College, which is in Worli, Mumbai. Then after B- doing the BAMS, uh, BAMS Bachelor okay. of Ayurvedic Medicine and Surgery. Okay. So after completing my BAMS, I was uh, doing private practice GP uh, for six months, around six months. But later I realized that uh, while practicing this uh, private practice, I was not giving the perfect solution. Then I thought of doing MD. So I did my MD in medicine from Said Tarachan Hospital, Pune. Okay. So, so the uh, peculiarity of this hospital is that it is a, one of the Ayurvedic hospital in Maharashtra where ICU, dialysis and honorary consultants from Sasun Medical College uh, do visit here. The hospital where Ayurvedic as well as the best Ayur- allopathic facilities are available under one roof. So through which the idea of integrative approach came to me. So with integrative approach, we can tackle many health problems in a simple way. So after that, lucky guy got uh, Ayurvedic Research Center, KM Hospital Paran, where I worked as registrar for almost three years. So there I implemented some of my ideas and expressed it. And thereafter, I joined COVID duty for almost two years. And then luckily after doing COVID, the idea came that my idea should reach a larger platform. So there, I thought of that this is the best one. Someone, one of my friend Rajan suggested me that this would be the platform to implement those ideas at a bigger platform. So this is, and uh, I joined luckily that Manoware. Usually, I uh, the idea of giving this came to me hardly two months back, two to two and a half months back. I joined this. So basically, I don't have any clues, neither syllabus, nothing. So while just going through the Google, so I found this menu where I found your video set and I found interesting mm-hmm. and I joined and uh, later the journey to this. Great. So why uh, social epidemiology? Uh, so basically uh, coming to this NPH courses, Masters in Public Health, the two courses which are there, it is like non-clinical. So I chose a clinical subject because basically being a clinician, I'm more comfortable with clinical, social epidemiology. And uh, basically, uh, the major health problem at present in our society is NCD, non-communicable disease. This is almost like an epidemiology only. So I thought that this would be the best for me. Okay. You have mentioned that you have some mission uh, with regards to the public uh, health uh, related so any mission you have planned so far, that is why you uh, have applied for the test. So what mission it is? Uh, sir, in single sentence, if I would like to say that basically whatever the health problems at present we are having in our society, we are going in a long route. So there is a short route which can be achieved with minimum surgical intervention, with mm-hmm. minimum blood investigations and okay. with, in a simple way. So that can be achieved with integrative approach where Ayurved as well as allopath both coming together on the same platform. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Let's talk about the preparation part. So how was your journey uh, throughout the TISNET preparation with regards to all this action, English, logic, maths, GK, how you have prepared all this area? Uh, Yes, sir. Uh, Basically, uh, when I thought of appearing for exam, uh, for GK, uh, somebody suggested I was I was going through some groups. Somebody was suggesting Manorama, and most of the people were suggesting Lucent. But uh, when I went to the bookstore to buy Lucent, 
was is not possible within 30 to 45 days mm-hmm. it's not possible and okay. so and I simply followed the manual gk and frankly speaking by just doing manual gk part the confidence level grew within me that at least my preparation is done okay, and great. Uh, and uh, this uh, manual the peculiarity of manual is that it uh, whatever the important part is there for preparation that is served in a simple way and uh, the guidance basically was totally not attached with anyone so just being part of manual uh, i could prepare myself uh, almost i used to study so 12 to 16 hours per day for the last 30 days almost 30 days and we used to start with gk the early morning static gk sab ratta marna <laughs> then after gk then i used to do quants till afternoon then after lunch i used to do lr logical reasoning and followed by again gk and uh, in the at night before going to bed for 30 to 45 minutes of english Okay. So this was my routine, sir. Okay, okay. So which section you felt okay? This is the tough section for me, and uh, I just have to manage to you know have to touch the easy level question, and I will perform best in some other section. Yeah, uh, sir. Coming to appearing exam, of course, GK. I was not very confident. I was not preparing since last one year, so I was not very confident. Mm-hmm. I was confident with English as well as maths. Okay. So basically, I started with while appearing exam. First, I just uh, uh, solved the GK paper first. Then I gave more, more major time to uh, second part was the English. Then third was the maths. Okay. Maths in the last. Maths in the last step. Okay. Okay. So, have you appeared the mock test also? Uh, sir. Uh, as I couldn't, my revision was, I couldn't uh, did my revisions properly. Full mock test, I couldn't appear. But the subject wise, I definitely appeared, sir. Subject wise. Okay. How was your interview experience, stage two, if I talk about? Uh, sir, interview, it was very good, sir. Basically, uh, frankly speaking, when I was appearing for interview, I just wanted to know how, what are, will be the questions. I was not uh, confident that I will be one of the TCM. So just experience, so like experience lele the interview me kya hota hai. So wo, wo ek attitude sa just appear kar raha tha. There was no any anxiety, nothing. So eh, mere jo uh, TIS ke jo uh, interview experts, the first question was why you want to want, want TIS when already you are having Samraja around you, when already you are visiting four different clinics, why you want to come to TIS? So that was the first question. And uh, for extempore, my question was uh, health, uh, difference in healthcare in developed and underdeveloped countries. And uh, personal questions, so what they asked, they asked about national health missions. Uh, they asked about health challenges in our society, mm-hmm. how to tackle health challenges in rural area. Mm-hmm. Uh, then they asked about my, most of the time they were asking about my personal experience, about my MD journey about my uh, Ayurvedic Research Center, KM Hospital journey, about my COVID duty experience, and uh, about whether I have public, published any articles in journals. Mm-hmm. So particular, they were, in particularly, they were asking my personal experience till now. It's what kind of patients I treat, what is my uh, expert in. So they were focusing on my personal things most of the time. Okay, great. So, how much uh, you have given the manual mock interview also, OPI yeah. and this. So, how much it helps you in your actual testnet interview part? Yes, sir. It definitely helps a lot. It boosts your confidence. At least it gives you an idea how to prepare, how to express yourself in front of the experts. So, experts do catch whether you are genuine in your answers or just okay, banavati answer there are. So, they catch you easily. So, it helps you. Okay. Last question. If you want to tips to give, uh, if you want to give two tips to all the upcoming year aspirant, yes. so what tips you will give to them? Those who are targeting for 2023 or 24. Okay. Okay. Uh, so basically what would I suggest? The TIS is the platform uh, where if you really want to do something for society, it is one of the best institute. And if you are looking for some something like package, this, that, then this is not the one first. Secondly, if you are aiming for this, 
regular means consistency is the key start early as you say sir in your videos you should start early aise aise nahi ki yaar syllabus itna hi ho jayega cover the more you practice the more the chances and sir as you said in one of the video maths should not for maths you should not use your rough paper the calculation should be in your mind so that will be the key so the more you practice the more you give time the more early you start the more is the chances and uh, gk is the game changer for gk it's not that ke last do mahine pad diye aur ho gaya you have to be in touch for gk from beginning itself and uh, of course i would suggest that believe in yourself don't give up no matter what yes sir okay great so believe in yourself and give your 100% definitely you will come up with the flying color so lots of thing explained by buran i i don't have to uh, summarize in this podcast and uh, if you have want to see uh, i mean if you have not understood anything you can rewind the podcast you can watch it but yeah lots those who are targeting for the public health this podcast will help them definitely so once again uh, buran congratulations for your this selection and thank you here for coming and sharing your experience and definitely this podcast will help to all the you know upcoming this aspirant thank you yes bye bye thank you sir thank you so much thank you